it was a constant constant uh, displacement effect or something. So I was like, uh, well, okay then. <laughs> and he had spell resistance, so I couldn't even wand him. Might be a little late in the campaign, but we need to get you a wand of true strike, and then you can ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> Even then, though, like I'm not a Magus, so I'd have to do True Strike and then do an attack the next Every turn, and then like, yeah. A... yeah, yeah. So, All right. not the best. Here's the hard part, guys. You guys are hurt, and I don't. Um, Mantis isn't here. Sucks. Yeah. Hard for me, at least. Okay. Uh... I'm just gonna press the combat button here. He's he's out of stuff, quite a bit of stuff. Yeah, no, we're I think all we're pretty all pretty resources. Yeah, he has no way to heal. I've you, spent a lot of my resources. Except for blessing of salamander. I think we're kind of. Um... I think like... it would be reckless to press on at this point in time. Yeah, I don't think we're plan. I don't think we were, were planning to do that much else here before we try had to try to figure out like a way to rest. Which I don't know if we're gonna do that here because like <laughs> I don't know if we can. <laughs> like I don't know if we, oh, we can safely rest here. I don't think we should rest in here. We we should rest inside Karzog's palace. So the only thing that sucks though is as soon as we leave, if we come back, we might find it repopulated again. Hopefully, at least not with as strong of opponents. Like hopefully he's not able like well, hopefully he's not able to go find like a new uh freaking fighter level twenty fighter or whatever. I mean, he's able to manifest well, himself when he wants to, right? So we definitely don't want to be in here anyway, regardless of the consequences of leaving. Yeah. Because I mean, yeah, and we went over and fought him. We wouldn't be able to uh, do anything. I don't know if we looked around this room or not, so I'm gonna do that now okay. that this thing's out of the way. Oh, cool! All right, you look around the room, and nothing, nothing of interest here, really. Okay, I'm gonna specifically look for traps over here. Then I think my trap finding bonus is plus eight. Yep. So, let's do a trap finding search. Alright, you don't think there Stop are any door. traps anywhere. What about locks? Uh, no. The cells, um, you can test them and they don't seem to be locked. Okay. Uh, I'll say that one seems safe and then I'll check the next one as well. Sorry, which map are we on? The pinnacle of avarice. Thank you. So that's checking the bottom door now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you don't think there are any traps? It doesn't seem to be locked. Okay. Um, well, I'll say both those doors are safe, but I don't know if there's more of these things indicating the weird thing that somebody, I think somebody told me it was an Astra Demon or something like that. Yep. I don't think we should press on in our current state. <clears throat> it would be too simple to run across something that could overwhelm us. But it does make me wonder what this thing was doing here. Was it guarding something? Or was it just locked in here because, like, that's as good a guess as mine. It. it does just seem to be a random room, doesn't it? A random room that, like, I don't know. I feel like it could have been able to get out of if it wanted to. So maybe it was guarding something.
Are there any noises behind the doors? Hmm. Not that I heard, but... <laughs> Not that nope. you're hearing. Right, I got a negative level. Yep, I have a... a scroll of restoration that we could use on that. But it is my last scroll of restoration, so... Well, um, I don't think his has become permanent yet. So there's a chance to naturally remove it. Right, and he does have good fort save, so I don't know. Huh. I still have a couple of combat spells if we need to use them. I mean, okay, Amara has two resist energies. Why does she have two life bubbles if she life bubbled you guys? She might have two more in case we uh, planted planned in if we got stuck here or something. Like you might have been thinking, we might need to cast like renew the or refresh the life bubbles if uh, they get dispelled or we end up sticking around for like many many hours. Like if we ended up actually trying to camp in here for some reason, we would need more. And we'd also need new life bubbles probably. Yeah, but it doesn't look like he even used his casts on them, and I know you guys have life bubble on. You might have just forgot to do the cast then. I don't know, I'm trying to figure that out. This is why I don't like him missing, because he, he put every fucking spell in his spell book, so I have to scroll up and down this mask list, like, needle in a haystack, trying to figure out where, what... Luckily, things are not yeah, medical, it's... so, but <laughs> still. <laughs> it's like a shame, because it's like, if, like, my character's gone, my character's super easy to to NPC. Well, <laughs> if you just go from mode, put the mode to combat, and it just filters out all the spells except for the ones that he specifically except memorized. Except if you check mark something because you use it, it disappears, it goes away, because it's... That's right. Yeah. And I don't see check marks oh, at all. I just thought you were looking for what he has. Okay, yeah, here. He he did, he did has two casts of life bubble, and he never even used one. And I know he put a life bubble on you guys. So would he have had to have used both his casts to do that on you guys for whatever duration? I know. I used life bubble to put some stuff on me and I think Nizzo. Didn't he use his life bubble as well for him, Diana? He typically uses Amara. life bubble for him and Diana. I'm gonna spend and that. It lasts two hours per level. There, I'll just check mark that. So he's got two resist energies, one life bubble, a blessing of salamander, stone skin. Dispel Magic Greater, Sorts of Severance, and Sunburst. Source Severance is pretty good. So that's all he's got right now. I don't think... Does he have a Cure Wand? I don't think he does. I can't tell. Uh, I know I might have had him... I don't, I don't know if he does or not. I think most of the time, if like if I'm not using it, usually Henrik's using it because I can just UMD at 100%, and Henrik can do staff like Wand to make the Cure Light wounds slightly better. Because uh, like I efficient. see a Wand that says five Cure Moderate wounds, so I'm guessing five charges left. Maybe I don't know. It could be cast a level five, maybe. No, probably not. They're usually th cast level three, I think. No, it's in the field where it, you count down how many casts you have for psionics. Um, well, it's up to you guys on what you'd like Amara to do for you. Not a whole lot. Right, I think the hmm. question is, is we want to search these two doors over here. That is a good question, and I'm curious. See if that but... thing was guarding something. 
Yeah. It's a mystery. I could try to stealthily peek through the doors or something, maybe. <laughs> yeah, you could try that. I'll give it a shot. Alright. Does anybody have a ring of x-ray vision? No. <laughs> Actually, no, I do have a... I do have a wand uh, My of, rolls have been bad it. today. Wasn't there I an old wand saying of, uh, clairvoyant. about curiosity and cats? Yes. Alright, I'm just gonna peek through this door, though, trying to be quiet about it. Okay. You do so. You open the door quietly, and you peek in. And though it is dark, you're getting the general idea that it is a jail cell. I don't seem to see anybody in there, though. No. It's an empty, yeah, maybe the other ones kind of room. I guess it wasn't even locked, too, so that makes sense. But... That's weird. I, I close it again and tell people, like, that one looked like a prison cell, but I didn't see anyone mm -hmm. in there. Although, it could be somebody hiding, maybe. But I it seems weird because the door... The, with the, wand of clairvoyance. the door was not locked, so and ne neither is this other one, so it does seem... I mean, I guess if you have this thing out here, maybe you don't need to lock the door. Yeah. Oh, we can check the other one. Do you want to stealth okay. it, or I can use this wand? That's it's probably safe. Oh, you have a wand, you said? Might be good to use a wand. A wand actually. of clairvoyance. Um, yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense. Use some magic to look at. Right. I'm gonna I'm gonna use this wand of clairvoyance I have to put a magical scrying sensor like five feet away from the the door. Okay. Take your charge off. You do so. And it's the same thing. It's just an empty cell room. Um, I tell the others that I don't see anything uh, that we didn't see any other room. It's empty. Hmm. That seems very strange. Because, yeah, it does make it almost seem like this would be, like, a guardian. Maybe there's just nothing in there right now. Like, I don't know. Maybe... These just could be prison cells that he hasn't filled. Yeah, it could be just prison cells he hasn't filled, yeah. Okay. Come back out here, I guess. I could try and clairvoyance the, uh, the door over here. See if there's anything past or directly past. So unless anybody objects to that, I that's what I would like to do. I would like to use the I'll wand again to uh, put a scrying sensor five feet past um this door here. Right there. Okay. Uh, then you do. 
and you see the decor of this large room is quite comfortable. Thick carpeting covers the floor while delicate chandeliers hang from the ceiling. Several large nests of furs and cushions lie about the room. Oh, another, like, probably Lamia guest room. Well, we found something in the other one. We could try and check it out. I don't seem to see any creature or anything moving, though. No. I tell the others that I think the room might be, whatchamacallit, empty. We could look around inside. Okay. I'll check the doors. I think I already checked this door, and it was locked or something? I don't remember. No. I'm pretty sure I checked this door already. Not locked. It wasn't locked, okay. Okay, but I am I am pretty sure I checked this door like last mm. session. Yeah. So I'll I'll just open the door then and go look around in the built in this room here. Okay. Okay. You look around and you're not finding anything of value. I'll go and yeah, look around with him and I'll detect magic and in the room. Hey. What's Mr. Void Boy doing there? I don't know. Mr. Void Boy. <laughs> I think somebody he, accidentally oh, dragged moved. him in there. He wants to come too. <laughs> I'll be your friend, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Asking. For so long. <laughs> That'd be funny, you play like one of those like Diplomancer builds and you just have him come along, like befriend <laughs> him. I'm really a nice There's guy, like I a... want to get past my exterior. <laughs> there actually is like a skill unlock thing that lets you like do diplomacy to improve people's attitudes as like a standard action, like <laughs> super late game shit. I That's kind of want to do that but... with the sorcerer I want to roll up for Kingmaker. <laughs> yeah, just befriend but everybody. Like, yeah, like but forcibly with enchantments. Oh, okay. <laughs> like yeah, charm Hester monster and be. like dominate monster. Yeah, well Hester's getting into like the charm <laughs> stuff. It's mm -hmm. make it, it can make things a lot easier for What is it with this architect and oddly shaped rooms? Mm. Oh, because oddly answer. shaped rooms cost Kaizo. I mean, no, it's because oddly shaped rooms are the most expensive kind of rooms to, you know, to do. That's true, so. actually. What what do you do with a corner like this? What do you put there? It's not even a 90 degrees. A clock. Custom furniture made by... Custom made finest. furniture, yes. <laughs> yeah, custom made furniture. There's only one room in the world that this piece of furniture could fit in. Yeah, that's, that's probably intentionally done, right? Uh, do we want to keep going here then, or do we want to try, like... I'm game well, to just keep going to this little corner. To be honest, as long as we have that wand to just keep, you know, creeping on things, then uh. I'm fine with this. <laughs> it's got 26 <laughs> more charges. I'm gonna sneak down here and, uh... Try to scout ahead. Oh my god. There was a fake alert on Twitter about a missile on its way to Hawaii. And they had to like clarify that there is no missile on its way to Hawaii. Oh, that's funny. Okay. That'd be scary if it was true though. It's like you feel safe on the West Coast when it comes to, like, war, but for how long? <laughs> you know, like, the West Coast has always kind of been, like, that untouched zone of war, but for how long? 
So do I see anything down here? Just a longer hall that kind of turns off to the side there. Ah, okay. I'll signal the others to uh, right, move I'll forward. Move up there. And then I'll sneak up a little bit further. I need to read this. Okay, and I guess Amara will follow this, this seems. From here. Stealthiness hmm, okay. Uh, before I can go look at that door, I want to sneak up to this other corner and make sure it's clear to do that. Mm -hmm. Cause I really want to do. I really do want to check out that door, but I want to be smart about it. <laughs> so you're trying to look down the hall more. Yes, I want to look down the hall to make sure it's clear before I double back to look at the door. Okay. And... At the moment, you don't see anything. Yeah. Long hallway, though. Okay, and then I'll go check this door out, then. Alright. Uh, plus eight. Perception for trap finding. Do-do-do-do-do-do. Okay, um... This door seems to be locked. Hmm, okay. But I'm not gonna do anything with that yet. Are traps. Okay, I'll go back and talk to everyone else, say there's a locked door up there. Um, I can go and Come try back. and clear buoyance behind it. Uh, yep. And I'm gonna attempt to put a scrying sensor. Um, let's go 10 feet this time, because it's a 10 foot scrying sensor. I don't... I don't know how well you can do that, because, like, I was reading Clairvoyance, and... The place has to be familiar to you, or an obvious one, and it's hard to predict behind a door that you can't see. Like, putting something directly behind the door, that makes sense, but, like, making it further out, how do you- you've never been in that room, you can't see that room, so I'm not sure if that works. I think it qualifies as an obvious position, but I don't know. Is it? Well, I can put it, like, I mean, I mean right on the other the door, side of the door, the door is an obvious position, but ten feet into the room, is that obvious? Oh, well, yeah, that might not be, I guess. Yeah, I that's know. what I'm but wondering. But ten, ten feet forward might be, and if it's an illegal spot or ends up in a broom closet, then that's what happens. Hmm. I guess, I guess so, yeah, I just... It's tricky because I mean it's a third level spell, it's so it's you. not like a cheap spell or anything. But it also it's like they say a familiar place to you or an obvious one, you know. I but, mean, yeah. technically, if there's something in there, they can also notice this. They might potentially notice the scrying sensor as well. Like it has That's a perception right, yeah. to notice it. Yeah, yeah. It is a an invisible thing that can be spotted by all the normal yeah. means. Like if you have. Mm -hmm. Arcane Sight, you'll just see it, probably. <laughs> just see uh -huh. Invisible, or... I think even, like, Tremor Sense and stuff might be able... Not Tremor Sense, but Blind Sight might be able to... I think, see yeah, it. I think Blind Sight can see it. Okay, yeah, well... Tremor Sense right, would see it if you're in the water. You put, and you have, like, Water Tremor Sense, I think. You put your sensor on the other side of the door. And you see a small room. Um, 
there seems to be a hole in the wall as well on the other side mm -hmm. of the room that looks like it shows daylight uh i think it's still day for you guys but you also just see something standing there with its back to the sensor and it looks like a muscular bald and tall humanoid and mm. you see its skin is of emerald color and it has wings of white feathers. Oh, can I try knowledge? Sure. Uh, planar. Uh, so these aren't something you see every day, so it's going to be 15 plus the CR. Right. You know that this is an angel. Ooh. You know that angels are typically good and more often than not neutral. That, I mean, that is very interesting and intriguing, but also confusing. Mm -hmm. Does it look like is is it kind of like alone in the room? Yes. Does it have like any? Does the is the room furnished at all? <clears throat> um, minor furnishings. It looks like it's like a slash from a makeshift makeshift bedroom to was a storage room. Uh huh. I wonder if it's being kept here against its will. Um. I'm going to tell the others, or whisper to them, that, like, I know this sounds really weird, but I think there's an angel in that room. Is your stencer still there when you tell them that? Um, let me see. I don't know if you have to concentrate or not. I, well, I mean, it's a wand, so it's a It doesn't say concentration. It just so. says duration moment for love. Okay, um... When you, like, whisper to them, this angel turns, and it's, like, staring right at the sensor, as if it can see it. And you see this, like, expression on its face where it's just kind of like, huh? But then, go ahead and roll me a sense motive. <laughs> well, my sense motive isn't super good, but maybe we'll get a good roll. Yeah, you're not sure. And then I'm like, oh shit, and it, like, it noticed. <laughs> it can see the thing. And I, I guess I'll, I'll dismiss it and okay. tell the others that, like, yeah, like, I, I think there's an angel on the other side of that room. Uh, I you want me to get it, like, it out? So sure. Well, that's what I'm saying, is, like, I don't know, like... My, I want to believe this. There's, there's an angel behind there, but we should be careful. Still, we don't know like what kind of things Karzok has done. Here. I it's suppose but by it's, magic, it might be. It's a locked door. To do any sort of thing. Yeah. Well, do you want me to? Do you want me to let it out, or should we? Should we be too? We should be more careful and just leave it there then for now. Because I can get it out. I, I I probably this lock doesn't look that complicated. Is oh so you know for sure that the door's locked. Yeah, it's locked. Does anybody have a spell of banishment? Should we let it out um, and it be compelled to attack us? I think returning it or banishing it back to where it came from would be the. I'm not even sure you could. Most humane thing. Oh yeah, because stuff can't leave here. Well, that presents a problem. I mean, I have some spells that I can use. How big was it, Seeker? Uh, large. 
large. I have some spells that I can try and trap it with, but that's the best that I've And I'm pretty sure it can see invisible things. Um, then I, I'm going to throw out a vote and I say, like, let's attempt to engage it in in conversation and negotiation and inquiry. But I'm going to cast a mirror image on myself before we let it out. So, are we confident that should it turn against I don't us, know, that won't matter. in a position? Okay. Um, I do still have some offensive spells, like some mages' swords that I can cast, but... And like I said, I can try and trap it. I do have a high-level uh, spell for that. I am wounded. One moment while I see if I got any healing stuff. Uh, can anybody pass me a wand? I can try to use it in a bit. Uh, yeah, I got a... Let's see, how many, how many freaking charges do I have to make your light wounds wand anyway? I think I have a fully charged, almost fully charged, 48 charges, yeah, I'll hand you my your light wounds wand. Alright, here we go. Three. How are you looking so far, Abysm? With the 29 heal. Moment. Oh, that's like about a little more than half than what you were wounded for. Well, that helped quite a bit. I'm fine with that. And I guess I'll heal myself but... a little. That helps a lot too. Okay, I'll hand the one back to Niz. It's five charges off of it. Yep, I already updated it. I'll just keep it right, running yep. tally. I'll uh, keep my distance a little bit and yeah, I'll. Okay, well, I'll everyone's be ready to. Fine with me trying to do this. I'll try to open. I'll try to pick the lock. Damn, I hope it's not a DC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hope it's not higher than a 50. You do. You pick the lock. Okay. Uh, and then I'll like look at, you know, back everybody else, say, well, it's open. And then if nobody objects, I'll open the door. All right, you do. You open the door. And you see this individual standing there, staring at you as you open the door. Uh, alright, I say greetings <laughs> in common and hope he understands that. I, I he tell him smiles that we're... at you. Uh, I'm gonna I try to send some motive stop Karzog. on this guy because uh, I'm who are you? better at it than uh, Henrik. Where is my sense motive button? There it is. Okay. He looks legit. Um, Nizo. Seems like he's. He looks like you know, like oddly enough. Happy to see you. Okay. Not in like a freaky, scary way, but more like in a hopeful way. That's a good sign. Yeah. 
Uh, I ask him what he's doing here. Is he was he trapped? You don't get a response. You just see his eyes kind of glance down to the ground and then back up at you. Uh, I'll look at the ground where he was looking and see if I see anything that maybe maybe he's trying to direct me to. Probably not, but yeah, you don't see anything on the ground. Is he mute? Actually, I can. Are you mute? Um, are you saying that from around the corner? Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this voice. Are you mute? <laughs> Uh, we should team up. Know. You have no voice. I am only a voice. <laughs> That's right. We're made for each other. So you ask that question, and it shakes its head no quickly at first, but then slows down and then starts nodding yes. Hmm. Uh, is it lying? It's a weird response. I... I I feel this there might be some other presence controlling this angel. Nizzo, you think that his first response was very genuine that you know, no, I'm not a mute, but then it seemed like he like thought about it for a second and suddenly changed his mind and he's saying he is. So you think that first response was pretty genuine, and the second response was still genuine, but maybe confusing why it changed. Hmm. Uh, what else do I see in this room? Like, just furnishings? What's with this gap from in the back spot? here? Does that lead yeah, out that's, somewhere? That's all you can really see, for the most part, is that this might have looked like a storage room, but... There's not a whole lot you can see around the corner there, because of, you know, not in the room, but, um, the- mm -hmm. it looks like a hole in the wall. It- it- it looks roughly made, so it doesn't look like it was an original part of the building. This guy's wings, right? Yes. Feathery wings. Yeah. Angelic wings. So theoretically, you could fly away, like, if that's a hole to the outside, so... He probably could, but something's weird. Yeah. Well, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, I, I asked ask him if, if it's being to to kept here against yeah. its will. It begins, uh, begins to nod yes. And I guess I'll try and sense motive though. You can believe what you want. <laughs> uh, Nizzo, you you believe him? That seems like a very honest okay. yes. So I will say I think we should trust him, but I'm not really sure if, if we can help each other. The best I could do to maybe help, or if he's got like something that's making him unable to communicate or do stuff, is I can try and break any enchantments that are on him, but it's not a, uh, it's not a surefire. I don't even know if he has any enchantments on him. Has he been asked yet if he's a prisoner here? Oh, uh, he's... He, he, I think he, yes, answered that question, because I asked him if he's being kept here against his will, and he responded yeah, okay. yes, so that would imply it's a prison. There's a brazier or something in here? Or is the room empty except for the hole in the wall? No, there's um, no, I'm going to um, ask it, is it safe? Thing. Is it safe for us to enter this room? He shakes his head no. 
Okay. Then that's okay, that's an important answer there. This is a tricky question though. He's he's being kept here against his will. It's not safe to enter that room. And he seems to be telling the truth. So we need to find some way sort to extricate of. this angel. I mean when we asked about his voice, he seemed evasive to some extent. Well, we might also be able to interpret it as that he is normally he is naturally not mute, but in this case he realizes that he is. That's how okay. I interpreted it. Fair enough. Like I said, that's just an interpretation. Hmm. Well, I cast Detect Magic to see if there's any wards or doomers or anything. Oh, yeah, good idea. Okay. Uh... Let me make sure that I have Detect Magic. I do. You do detect magic. Wait, does this? I don't know. I don't know if that's true, though. Probably. Sorry, what was that? I don't know if this lets off magic. Okay. Well, if it has a duration and is dismissible, it probably does. It doesn't. If it's an instantaneous, then it's it might not. Yeah. Like undead, for example, like just a zombie, even though you use magic to make a zombie, they don't actually detect as magic. So if it's something like that, then it might not actually detect as magic, even if it does have like some effect it does. Yeah, duration instant. Yeah, you don't detect any magic. Other than... Yeah, you detect one bit of magic on the first round, and if you spend more time narrowing it down, it's... It's on the great sword the angel has. Oh, yeah, then that's magic. Okay. Would you be compelled to attack us if we entered the room? It nods I ask. Us. There we go. Maybe I can break that then. Is the sword that you hold what binds you here? Shakes its head no. Okay. I ask it if it was some kind of enchantment or spell cast upon you. Uh, you get a guess. Okay, then. I'm gonna ask it to let me, let me cast a spell on you. And I'm gonna take out... I'm gonna take out a scroll of break enchantment, and I'm gonna start casting it. There's no... Um, he didn't detect magic. Enchantments would have left magic on the creature for you. Uh, break en enchantment can reverse instantaneous effect. I'm gonna have to pull it up and see if it affects this then. Hold on. Okay. 
Okay, you use your scroll wand. I'll let you know whether or not it works. Yeah, I have to roll a caster level check. Ah, that's a poor roll. This would be the caster level of who, who did this? Of the caster, second. whoever put it yeah. on it. I'm gonna get that in here. Which is probably Kara's. No. Maybe. Possibly. So, 11 plus. Okay. Yeah, you're pretty confident that your spell was strong enough to work for the most part, but it didn't oh. work because there is no enchantments or yada yada yadas on this person. Oh, okay. Well, that's still valuable information gathering. Yeah, like no enchantments, transmutations, or curses. Hmm. Wait, Rank Enchantment does remove that. curses? Oh. It does. Yeah, it's a really high but level You can't spell, dispel though, magic a curse, though, right? Yeah. That's correct. Correct. Usually. Yeah, like, Break Enchantment and Remove Curse are the things designed to remove curse. Yeah. yeah. Although certain, I mean, Dispel can get certain curses, just not like the normal, like, Bestow yeah. Curse curse. But, like, because there's some effects that are curse effects that are not the spell was like like blindness deafness can be dispelled for example i think generally if something's dismissible it can well, be dispelled Bane. like that little low level first yeah. level spell Yeah, I'm confused by this spell, because this spell has, like, other uh, partial effects within it that are other spells. Let's see what this one does. Page not found. What the fuck, SRD? It's your link. Okay. Uh, oh, I get it. Anyways, yeah, your thing won't work on this, what's going on here. Hmm. I don't, okay, that's up for debate. I'm tired of trying to figure it out. This thing is planar bound. And I don't think it's emanating magic because it's an instant thing, but it keeps saying, like, there's a magic circle around them. It's like dimensional anchor, you know, and, and those two things leave off magic. So I'm not sure. And then break enchantment cannot take, remove uh, the planar binding. I already checked on that. But the question mm -hmm. is, is, is it detectable for you guys to identify it? Instant spells generally don't have a, anything to detect. This magic happens and then it's gone. So I don't know. Yeah. yeah it just says it to create the trap, you must use a magic circle spell. So a magic circle spell would have had to have been created in junction with this. So would a magic circle spell oh. be detected? But then it could be after the trap is sprung, it's done. Mm -hmm. 
thing is trapped yeah, they, here, and that's it. They might not need it anymore, yeah. They and only then a dimensional it anchor cast on the creature prevents it from escaping via dimensional travel. I thought that this uh, whole place had a dimensional anchor built into it, basically. So I thought that was what... Well, we dimensional anchor is going to keep it from going anywhere within this place. Hmm. Well, if this whole place, as we've said, stops things from planar travel, then this whole place might just function as that purpose of dimension locking it here. So no, 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 because no like extra spell. we know that we can teleport within the place. Oh, okay. We can't teleport. I don't into know where your guys' confusion got with this whole you can't planar travel. The confusion might have started when you guys were going from being in the material world of Galarian to all of a sudden being in Ling now. So you guys weren't able to travel here. You had to walk here because you were going through... You were stepping into Ling, so to say, and you didn't know that you could... Well, I Anyways. remember we I tried to maze something and it wouldn't go anywhere. So we know that teleportation doesn't function right here. Well, no, the amazing thing is something that I made a mistake on the rule, and I'm just going to keep ruling it because I already made the rule. But if you can summon creatures in here, which you saw an individual do, I don't see why you yeah, can't banish Yeah, but then it, like, it died. Things. Well, yeah, it died inside the occlusion field because it's a fucking dangerous place. You take off that amulet, you're going to die too. That's why it was so, dying. I mean, yeah, the dimensional anchor is definitely it was... keeping it here. I I guess Henrik's smart enough to figure out that this creature is planar bound. Okay. Would I know how to get rid of it or how to unbind it? To banish it. Or to kill it and maybe resurrect it. So to success, so, so to banish it would get rid of it. But, oh, but it has a dimensional anchor so? on it. That that's a problem because that will prevent uh, it from getting banished. I think. Yeah. Hmm. So it, it seems like it's a permanent dimensional anchor, because I know that the spell only has like a... It's not like a permanent duration. It's not normal. dimensional anchor. It's plain. It's a greater... Okay, whatever. It's a greater planar binding. It is under greater oh, planar Oh, it's binding. it's an effect like dimensional anchor, but it's, built, it's baked into the planar right. binding. Yeah, if you read the whole planar binding thing, it's like paragraphs and paragraphs okay. and paragraphs of shit so it's slightly confusing but basically you know that there are only two ways to send this creature back and that is to banish it or kill it so that it or no longer it. has to follow through with its um, duties I guess okay um then I I tell the group I tell the group that uh like I don't have the spell with me right now but I can I can prepare. Hmm. So if there is no If there's nothing preventing us from plane shifting around in here, is that is that what I understand correctly now? You guys don't know. You guys actually have not tried doing things. You have only speculated and assumed okay. to this point. Uh, in that case, maybe banishing it back to its home plane is an option. All right. Well, I I tell it that I, I tell it that we'll do what we can to help you, but we don't have the We've spent so many resources getting this far, but like I, I promise we'll come back. It frowns slightly sad.
And yeah, that's uh, that's all I've got for now. Um, I you know like I I tell it that like if it can like resist like telling anyone else in here like what what you saw in her. for our safety and for your safety. It does that like you know fingers to the lips zip lips motion. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, I was already thinking. Like, it's not, I don't think it's gonna tell anyone. I think we're okay. <laughs> well, I mean, they might get compelled to. Yeah, like, maybe if we can. Uh, maybe. maybe resist a little. bit. Okay, then I think we should maybe exit, or we could keep exploring a little. But I definitely know what I want to prepare for tomorrow. It makes me wonder if you actually could use something like uh, Mage's Magnificent Mansion or Rope Trick or something silly like that in here then. Maybe. Maybe we could just teleport out. Because I, I was under the assumption that like teleportation spells like did not function correctly in here. Yeah. Well, nobody's tried. <laughs> and you didn't identify all well, the properties yeah. of where you are, so unfortunately. But, but the thing is that, like, know. even though it was a misruling, we did try. No, the maze? No, you didn't try to teleport, though. You watched somebody teleport maze. all but, uh, over the place, though. But maze is a teleportation. I understand, subtype. and I made that mistake, and I'm going to continue ruling maze is not working because I already fucked it up twice. So whatever, I'm sorry. It's just right, and I'm just saying that that's where the confusion came. No, you guys were talking about it sooner before you even tried that, but I don't know. Um, either way. You guys haven't tried actually teleporting around, but you did see somebody teleporting around. Um, you also saw. Well, that's because we get figured we could teleport in. within the place. But kind uh, of like how, um, what you call it, the the spell, uh, you know, that one spell that Rasputin had on the cathedral, the Forbiddance, I think, because you can teleport, you can teleport within the place, but you can't teleport in or out of the that's place. That's what's not here, though. I, again, it's properties right. you guys didn't identify, and I made a mistake, and I'm sorry, but yeah. No, you guys haven't tried doing things other than that one little thing, and I don't know. But yeah. on the subject, if anybody wants to try and teleport us out of here, uh, and you have this, the means to do so, we can try that, but I did not prepare any of that today. Yeah, Amara doesn't have teleport abilities. I have a scroll, but uh, I don't think I could actually... It's not high enough castle to oh, use it a on teleport the party. Of... Or a scroll of... Uh, I have a scroll of teleport and a sc two scrolls of dimension door, but they're then both... Then I can do uh... it. If you give it to me, I can do it. Oh, well, yeah. Because I'm a scroll master. I can be a scroll of teleport or a scroll of uh, dimension door. I have two of those. I don't know how far a dimension door would be far enough. Yeah, I think teleport would be more reliable here. So yeah, but I, I yeah, do we want to teleport uh, out of here? Where did we rest the last time? In like one of those weird, like hotel rooms. Yeah, in the towers. The guest room. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then, do we want to exit manually? Or maybe use magic for convenience. I mean, I don't think I'm... If The thing is, if the teleport scroll doesn't work here, I'm not going to use it anyway. <laughs> for the rest of the adventure path, probably. So, I'll each try just using that, I guess. But, um, And I guess the other thing, too, is, like... I don't know. I don't know if we'd be able to teleport, like, outside of Lang, basically. But we might be able to teleport right to the border, I guess. Yeah, because those, like, weird guest room bungalows are within this dimension. Mm-hmm. Okay, so hopefully that'll work. Wasn't there a period of time when, like, creatures started pouring out of those? 
There was, and then we killed a bunch. Will that happen again? I have no idea. And that is that is a possible danger. But I could still teleport us out of the tower or whatever. Or try to. And then we can exit on foot. Okay. Or we could just walk. What do you guys think? I'll, I'll give you the teleport scroll. I'm, I'm fine, like I said, at least trying it. Okay. Then that's what we're going to do. I'm going to teleport us um, back to the one of the, whatchamacallit, out, outside of the Pinnacle of Everest. Hold on, I'm just rereading stuff because I'm tired of them contradicting themselves and then I'm getting in trouble by the players by it. So let me just double check this whole crap. Yep, take your time. Okay. Yep. Nothing says you can't. You teleport out. Okay. Yep. We we make it there without any mishap. I teleport us. Uh. Yeah. Back to like where the um. Like the beginning of that trail that winds up to the tower outside of the occlusion field. And I guess that's where we end up. Now, where do we want to sleep? Do we want to go back to Zinshalah? Or try our luck with some sleeping in one of these places? I can rope trick. Um, we could also do both. I don't know, I don't really have strong opinions on that. It's, um, how long would it even take us to get down? Like, like, wouldn't that just add a lot of... Back to the city. Uh, a lot of time. I guess it would yeah, add a lot, a lot of time. Just time to the city. Yeah. Okay, well, let's try one of the, the guests tower and hopefully it's empty okay and then if it is empty i'll cast rope trick and we'll begin our arrest good old rope trick yep all right so you guys set up to rest <laughs> okay. Are you gonna do any? Are you gonna prepare mantis to spells? In... Sadly, <laughs> I don't sleep, so I only need to sleep two hours actually. But I could even skip that if I want to use lesser restoration on myself. Because I have a wand of lesser restoration. All right, so I'm gonna uncheck all. Well, uh, first, just roll me watches for the heck of it. I'm sure you're gonna want to do that. Yep. I mean, I'll, like I said, I know, I know for sure I'm doing a watch for almost the entire night, if not the entire night. 
Okay. Alright, so it's a pretty quiet night. Nothing, nothing happens. Okay. What do I want? Okay, I gotta get into I'll preparation. I'll prepare my spells. Do, do you guys want the resist energy? She has two prepared and never used them last time. Not sure. Uh, let's see. I feel like it's one of those things that might be really useful against certain enemies that you put, like you come into like an elemental or something like that, and then you're like, well, here we go. Mm -hmm. Or if we're ready to have some sort of elemental environment. It's also got resist energy communal. What do you think you guys were gonna face? Wow. Uh... You probably just took it because it's just a generally useful spell when it's good. Um, I'll be right back while you guys are doing spell stuff. Yeah. I mean, I don't see any reason to change anything he has unless there's something that you guys want. I mean, probably just leave it like that, right? I think that's probably what I. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just leave it as is. There's no reason to change it. Plus, I don't think Amara Finger of Death's things. Yeah, she did sometimes, but she's been doing it less lately. Finger of Death? Really? Amara? I don't think Amara did. Yeah. Yeah, she totally did. She killed some shit with... With Finger of Death? Yeah. I don't remember that. I remember she killed something. Maybe. Yeah, I remember casting Finger of Death on something. Well, he has Sunburst, Wall of Lava, Clashing Rocks, True Scene... Two heels and some lower stuff. As his big, big kahunas.
Okay, I'm I'm good. I'm ready to get back in there. Yeah, I think I'm good. Okay. Guess ready to see the shit storm you created? Ha <laughs> ha. Maybe. <sighs> Alright then, um do we want to teleport back in? If that'll work. I'm not I don't so have another sure. scroll though, you, you'd have to hard cast it. Yeah, I prepared some stuff like that. I could, I could save it for getting us out of there. I think I originally got that. It was one of those like things where if I got, uh, I don't know, separated somehow randomly, I'd have like a way to be able to get back. Now you have boots of teleport. It's true. So <laughs> three a day. They're much. They're much shorter dura yeah. or uh, range, right? Are they? Wait, are they? Are they dimension or teleport? Think actually, I think it's just regular teleport. What? Yeah. Oh, well, that's pretty good. Yeah. Alright, well. So actually, should, technically, should we try manually to... or magic? It's only cast level 9, though, so. <laughs> it's not terribly great for teleporting with other people, but. I'm not sure you can teleport other people with those. I should say. Probably. It says exactly. It says exactly as though you had the spell, mm -hmm. so. I okay, think you then, can. Yeah. Oh. Touch my boots, guys. Oh, life level. On me and Nizzo. Okay. It's teleport, though, so you could mishap. <laughs> I guess. So there's yeah. that. Don't you mishap? You don't mishap if you know the location, like, really well? Like, it's your home or something? It's a like yeah, it increases I mean, the chance to very very low. I and like being able to see it like if you're doing a really short range, you probably have almost no chance of mishap. Well, if it's a very familiar place, then you're guaranteed to never mishap, but you can still be slightly off target or in a similar yeah. area. Yeah. But yeah, so like if I'm teleporting, obviously if I'm teleporting somewhere that I can literally see right now, that probably would count as view very familiar, right? <laughs> Like, I'm teleporting to the other side of this room. Yeah, probably. So you can still use it as like a combat teleport as well. Okay, well. Let's, uh, let's go in. Alright, All right, how do you suppose you're gonna do that? Oh, uh, I guess life bubbles will go up. How many people Yeah, I put life bubble on me and Nizzo again. Okay. You can split it as, with as split, many people as you up. want, but it keeps like splitting the duration. Uh, so she does it to three people. Herself, Diana, and Abysm, I think. And, you're and I do it with me and Nizzo. 17? Yeah, 17. Okay. So yeah, you guys got some hours. Uh, so I'll yeah, I think that. that's why she prepared two. Was because splitting it up three ways meant that you conceivably could have to cast it a second time. If you have to stay, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, even just the, because I mean, it's like 34, or no, it's, yeah, 34 hours divided three ways. Amara does make an observation because nobody else did, um, or at least has really brought it up and talked about it. But why didn't Nuwalia and that wizard and that fighter not have life bubble? Mm, well, I don't know. Maybe well, maybe once you're in the um. Maybe, Maybe once, once you're, you're inside, inside the, the building, you don't need it. You just need it on the way up. But I mean, life level still protects us against some stuff. That is true. So it's yeah, still I mean, nice it's to have. Just... Yeah. Okay. Oh, I say I could try to teleport us to the room with the angel. I think that would be a good idea. If we can try and get to it quickly. Where exactly? Um, to the, the the place we were at before, right before the angel. So it would be like a viewed way. once area, so yeah. Mm -hmm. So I would have like a decent chance to mess up, but I'm willing to try. Okay, go for it. All right. So I believe it's one through seventy six is on target. <laughs> okay, so that's a mishap. Yeah. Uh, what are the mishap rules? So we each take 1d10 points of damage, and I reroll on the chart to see where we wind up. Oh. Yeah, and you could potentially roll mishap multiple times. Is a d20 plus 80 yeah. for the for the rerolls? Is this some chart I randomly make up? No, it's, no, there's a chart it's on, on the, the chart. Or in the, yeah, it's on the scroll, on the teleport, like, description. I don't see a chart for where you end up. I see a chart for percentages, but... Yeah, that's, that's the one. Well, I mean, it's based off of... Um... Like when you roll on there, if it's it might be off target or a similar area, depending on what you end up rolling. Like off target is ends up being what a distance. Let's see, random yeah. distance, which is the percentage dice of the distance that was to be traveled. Just, D percentage, just yeah. Just so you'd a, you'd roll a second thing for that when we get that. And if it's a similar area, you just end up in a thematically similar standard, area. Right? So that's we four. probably just yeah. Let's hope I roll really low. Nope. I think you're supposed to roll a d20 plus uh plus, plus eighty. Oh, right, 80. Plus 80. Yeah, yeah, for that one. That's another mishap. <laughs> that's a, so that's yeah, the so that you ended up, yeah, you ended up getting that 5 damage anyway. That's the same thing again. Oh god. We're just gonna die to a mishap. We'll take some damage, yeah. It's <laughs> another one. It's one damage. Oh my god. That plus 80 is hurting you. Oh yeah, it's meant to. Okay, so 85 is... we're off target. Alright, so what's the distance we're teleporting? Percentage of the distance that was to be traveled. Yeah, so now you roll a percentage dice, and then whatever the distance you traveled you're off by that percentage, and then, like, I guess you could roll, well, I like, think technically D. we did. It's it's 85%. I think you're supposed to roll a separate percentage dice for the percentage. So you can theoretically get lucky and not be off target that much. Yeah. 
Because otherwise it would always be off target by like pretty much the same amount that you teleported because you're only hitting off target on high rolls, obviously, right? Right. So sixty two percent. So we're gonna be like whatever distance we were traveling, we're gonna be off by like double or by like half that again, basically. We might we might teleport. If we were teleporting we're safely somewhere. Let's see here. This damage goes to everybody, There's a little right? bit. Not just Henrik. Yeah. It's, let's right. see, 10 plus 1 plus 4, it's 15, 20, 20, I see 24 points of damage. Yeah, 24. So everybody add 24, unless you have something that says otherwise. So you take our whatever location we're going figure out what the distance of that would be roughly and then take 60% of that distance. Alright, so you guys in were direction. in the tower when you tried to use the teleportation, so you guys find yourself halfway up the path to the, t the uh, pinnacle. Looks like okay, you're walking so after all. Okay. <laughs> yep, well, I tried. <laughs> Okay, then we're gonna have to go the the normal. Let's go. Go into the front door. All right, I'm just gonna move your tokens over here for the moment. Okay, so you guys get to the front door or outside. Are there more giants? Maybe. Let's play the inclusion field. Factor. Do you guys go in and up the ramp? Yeah. Any special way? Last time we used a sphere of invisibility and the spell that um, made us not have any scent, so I don't know if we're doing that again or not. I feel like hopefully we've cleared out enough that we can just go up a way, but we can have Nizzo like scout. Okay, I'll uh, I'll do that. I'll sneak up the this little ramp thing a little ways and try to scout um... okay um you guys aren't exactly there there on the ramp i just have your tickets there but fair enough as you kind of get around the corner a little bit to where you are um did you stealth you did okay You don't go unnoticed. As you reach that point, you see a boulder of a rock being thrown in your direction. As you see some All right, we got giant. very healthy, very alive giants over here. You guys can roll initiatives. I'll just put them where they are on the map, just kind of further behind. And I don't think Diana's going to be medium, so I'm going to put her back to large. Remove this. I don't know if there are effects on you guys that shouldn't be. Let's see here. I don't think Abysm or you Everything's overland correct flighting on right me. now. Yes, yeah. I have overland flight on. Okay, and your greater magic weapon is on or something? 
Yep, I just okay. recast my spells. So Greater Magic Weapon, Stone Skin, Overland Flight, yeah, those... uh, a Blade of Armor. Okay. So those have uh, right. durations in hours, so they're yep. probably going to last like 20 hours almost. And I extend, I use my extend rod on anything that has like 10 minutes per level, so that turns into like 4 or 5 hours. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I didn't have some of these combat situations ready. I can do that now though. <laughs> okay, so the boulder misses you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bism, do you got an initiative? Yep, I just lick the boulder. There it is. <laughs> it's like kind of rolling down the slope now. <laughs> I don't know, though. Your perception's pretty bad. You might have noticed the boulder unless somebody points it out. <laughs> Good point. Hmm. Oh, we forgot to deal with my negative level. We should probably Oops. take care of that. I don't that. know if it's been 24 hours yet, though. Not quite, no. Okay. Sure. So, um, I might not even notice the boulder. <laughs> it happens. All right, uh, round one, boulder rolling down, Diana and Amara. <sighs> okay. I don't want to blow a bunch of spells yet, so I'm just going to have her move. Cat's movement speeds are 40, right? I believe so. Yeah. Is Amara in a wild shape? Okay, we're air elemental again. Why not? Never left it. Uh... All right, she's going to position herself up up here. And visit. So which one threw the rock at me? Was it the... Which of these the unconscious giants? Oh, they're not <laughs> unconscious. Yeah. yeah. I know. I'm just, I'm just giving you a bad time on you that. You should have killed them. Um, <laughs> the... Uh, I can't get close enough to sneak attack any of these guys, really, in this turn. I'm going to pull out the mirror image wand while I move up closer somewhere, like up here or something, and get myself mirror image. Uh, okay. D4 plus 1. See how many images I get. Looks like 3, so 4 Nizzos. And uh, standard action, so that's my whole turn. Let me hit the. I guess I can hit the button as well if I want to. Okay. Uh. 
Uh, so there's four of you. Okay. Um, let's see. This one is going to chuck a rock at Diana. Which is not flat footed. All right, Henry, you see rocks rolling down. <laughs> oh boy. I'm going to cast a uh, near image on myself. And that will give me six images. So I'll apply that to myself. And then I'm going to move 30 feet. That'll be my. Okay. And I'm, I'm pulling out the uh, transmutation bane dagger thingy, the runeforge. Uh huh. Right, yep. That's a Okay. Overland flight is 40? I think so. Yeah. Yep. Hmm, okay. I can only make it up there. And I'm going to cast... Mirror image. Okay, that's my turn. <laughs> All these images just go up one round one. All right, uh, we will send another rock, but at the Diana. This is... All right, this guy is going to Full round chuck some ballista like spears. Spear chucking time. Let me double check his feats. Okay. Uh, Diana's big, they don't like that. Three spears, all miss. Um, he doesn't usually like her to ever take attack of opportunities, but we're gonna charge in. Uh, I don't know, this thing really hit her. Yeah, he might as well just take the charge. No matter what, Diana's gonna get hit or might might get hit. Uh 
Okay, uh, this giant will attack Amara as she's going through her threat with a slam. She hits. Well, not Amara, but Diana. Okay. That's some dip. And this one, she's also going through. And because he had spears out, he's going to slam with the attack. And he hits. She is going to get the whole charge break combo. The pounce. The pounce. I don't know why this is taking me forever, other than it's not my character. Uh, so we start, uh, I think she's regular size right now, so just with the bite. Didn't target, but I'll try now. So the bite misses. And the rake, miss, miss. Amara will... So early to blow spells. I she would have cast that already. Um, I don't know, what should Amara do, guys? Um, Doesn't she I mean, shape she change buffs. and then beat on stuff? She's an arrow mental right now, because that's what he was last, so that's what he is now. I don't think she has that many offensive spells. So she kind of keeps those Well, she does, but yeah, she reserves them for, like, other things. And I can't just... She can support her, her cat. Hand. Yeah, I was thinking just maybe Cure Light wounds it, but I don't know. Yeah, her cat only took, like, 80 damage, though. <laughs> only. I don't know. It's fine. Uh, let's see, she's not close as she needs to get. Just that close. Um, yeah, let's just do a light wounds for now. I'm not really worried by Diana. It was lucky. <laughs> this thing always misses. Like, that was rare. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The other one, though, that's a whole different story. Ah, decent. Okay, uh, Nizza? Hmm. I'm gonna move closer. Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna dual wield some wands, I guess. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll probably just drop. I'll probably just move up here and drop the. Mirror image one, and then I'll pull out a, uh, I'll pull out my Enervate wand and shoot this guy. Enervate! Woo! Yeah, fun for everybody. Are you totally um, concealed right now? No. Okay, it's no. on you. I'm gonna turn it off. You hit. Okay. Um, and he does a d4, so... Four yeah. native levels! Yay! 
Ouch. Hopefully that'll make him a little bit less likely to hit. Yeah. And that'll be my turn. Uh, let's see, where is he on the tracker here? Turn that to a four. These are... So that's 20 less health. Okay. And that's your turn then? Uh, yep. Okie dokie. Ward number five. Will... Continue checking boulders, but this time at the tiny man. My job sucks. I don't like this job. Somebody free me from this enslavement of Karzog. Uh, Mrs. We'll try. <laughs> Henrik. I think if anybody, city. like, the Cloud Giants, you probably can, like, maybe talk them down one way or another, but it's like, they're so involved at this point. Because <laughs> <laughs> remember, they're, like, neutral, neutral Giants, unlike a lot of others. It's difficult, but... Mm-hmm. I'm going to cast a spell. Okay. Go for it. Nothing's stopping you. For now. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm going to try and get it disintegrate on this big dude. Okay. Because he's got four negative level. Yeah. Yeah, it hurts his saves. Yep, a lot. You have two things oh, shit. targeted. You have yourself targeted. Uh oh. Okay, so you get past the caster level against yourself. Good job. Um, hey, yeah. You hit the warden, and he fails his save. Alright, here comes the full damage. And I don't have me targeted this time. <laughs> Ouch. There, there's my damage so far. Alright, Abysm. <laughs> Only Abysm had gotten that uh, crit disintegrate with a failed save. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've been like thirty or like seventy freaking D sixes. Yeah. How is everybody moving so quickly up ahead of me? I'm having trouble just catching up to you guys. Well, I was already ahead. Is what happened for me. And Amara and Diana are just um... they double moved so. Okay, I actually move over here, and uh, what's this guy here? Warden of Rune. Um, I'm 
Okay. I will try this. He uh, is resistant to electricity, which we may have known before, but I forgot. So I'm good. <laughs> All right. Um, number 10 is going to. I don't think they have quick draw. Nope. Uh, she's going to draw the Morning Star and attack Diana. Automatically misses. All right, Mr. Negative Level Dude here. That's good. Will... That's me. Not you. The other Negative Level guy. <laughs> I'm going to form a club. The Negative Level Club. <laughs> Very exclusive. Uh, we're going to... Cool. Safa can be part of that club, especially since she doesn't get the bad effects from Tiki negative level. Too. Yeah, Tiki's got one as well. Mm. Oh, I think we could have got rid of it, but we kind of... Well, I don't know if it'd been a... Yeah, yeah we could have got rid of it, we just kind of keep forgetting about it when you guys are in a spot where you could. Because hers is just, like, from a, a thing you fought. I'm tired of always picking on Diana, so Nizzer, you're right. Okay, I'm going to try to do Sense Motive versus the first attack to okay. try to get an AC bonus. It's probably not high enough. It's probably going to be a 31, okay. but, you know, you know. Well, so it's an immediate he's power attack attacking, too. so maybe. Alright, yeah. we're going to full round. Uh, miss, miss, miss. Oh, and I brought the AC bonus for him, so I get a plus two bonus to AC versus him for a minute. Only versus him, though. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Diana's Phew. gonna go to town on this giant. Uh, power attack? Yeah, why not? I think he did break an image off of me, though. Jeez, she's missing? Maybe I need to make her bigger. Yeah. One of the uh one of the attacks did break an image on Izzo though. Did it? Okay. So I'm down to yep, I'm down to D three. Um We're just gonna keep healing Diana. Yeah, it's a good That was a good one, yeah. Okay, Nizzo. Mm. I think... Hold on a second. If I need to... I think I want to use Vanish, but I would think I'd have to do it defensively. Because it's a spell-like ability. So... What's the spellcasting ability with uh, this thing? It looks like it's... Uh... I think it's based on my int. Okay. Um... 
so let me make a concentration check here. I don't do the concentration checks here very often, I don't think on, on Nizzo. I think it's an auto succeed actually. That's probably why I don't do them very often. Now I look at it. Uh, and then I'll, well, after I turn invisible, I'm gonna, I don't think these guys can see invisibility. So, and I can move into a square because he's like four categories, size categories larger than me. So I'm gonna do that while invisible. Okay. That's it for my turn. I'm gonna stab him like in his like healers. <laughs> Could I'll probably move again to get behind him or something for a flank, but. Uh, all right, back to picking on Diana. It's got some cover though. I'm gonna send a rock. They can only throw a one because they suck like that and they miss. Henrik. I'm going to uh, move over here and pull out my wand of magic missiles and shoot some magic missiles at the the big guy. Okay. That's better. Okay. Uh, Oh, he said he was going to be AFK for a little bit, so I wonder, hopefully he'll get back. Should we delay his turn then? Like in the initial track? Yeah. Oh, I don't think we should delay his turn. Well, I don't know what to act for him, so we wait, or we delay his turn. I guess we wait. <laughs> I would, yeah. Give him, like, a little bit. <laughs> and I guess if, it, if he's away for a few more minutes, then we can yeah. move him down. Okay. I might have to make Diana bigger. How does he do that animal growth? Is that how he's getting her to huge? I think so. Let's see, one minute per level. It doesn't last very long. We'll hold on to it. Yeah, it's for like a fight. Yeah. Does she, does she always put bark skin on Diana? I think so. Does she always put some on Dizm, stacks or with... is he doing taking care of himself now? I don't remember. I feel like she. I feel like Diana or not Diana, Amara was casting bark skin on Abysm. Or was it stone skin? She has a stone skin prepared. No, he's casting. He's casting stone skin on like a, uh, Abysm is doing that himself. Himself, okay. So. I guess we'll find out in a bit. Um... Yeah. 
Um, did he say in chat he was going to BRB or what happened? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a little blue or green text up there. I have to step away for a couple of moments. moments. I'll be right back. What was he gonna do? I'm not sure. Um, I don't know. Hopefully get caught. <laughs> uh, uh... I don't know if it's gonna impact this character's turn, so I think this character's just gonna full round Diana with a power attack. Okay. With all misses. Now, would it have affected this guy? Um... Sorry for the delay. Oh, there you are. Do you want to go before or after the huge or gargantuan guy? Uh, that depends. Is he about to kill Nizzo? Now I'm invisible. He's invisible. Okay, then you can just carry on. Well, I delayed your turn and the Warden of Ten went. And you can either go before or okay. after the Warden of Two before the turn is over. So now or after this guy, okay. I guess. Um, I'll go now. I'll go now. Okay, then I'm going to switch your initiative to six. And have a... Sure. You're going to move in. All right, he's going to take that lovely swing at you. Which, I have not pulled out the weapon yet, so you've got that going for you. Oh. Do I really hit with the 37 after your mobility and all that? Yeah, I'm just double checking. I see you took it off yourself now something... and applied it and then removed it. Uh, I just have it set up so it only w uh, works against one attack at a time. Um, so oh, it just when he attacked, it automatically it. reduced it. Yeah. Yeah, I, th but, I figured it would be uh, the attack, but I guess. Armor class should be 34, which means that still hits because I forgot to cast another spell, but oh well, that's on me. So I Your guess that hits. Today? Okay. That's exactly what I forgot to cast. Now that I'm <laughs> looking at my armor and stuff, I realize, oh, I forgot to cast shield. Yeah. So, eh. All right. I can spell combat it next turn. There's your yep. hit. Okay. Oh, although I do have images. Oh, uh, we'll just do that real quick here. Um, eight images. Uh, I take out an image. Return twenty eight okay. health back to yourself.
Okay, you're there. Uh, then I'll attack him. Ah, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> That's better. Okay, I'm done. So I gotta return 15 to him. Okay. Well, it's his turn now. Okay. I'm in a full round. Abysm, because I don't see Nizzo. But before I do that, I'm just going to sort of five foot step back because I kind of like a gap between me and my targets. This will be a powerful full round. Meese, 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 meese. Phew. Grr. Okay, uh. Round four, Diana. Come on, Diana, you can hit. You can do it. You got this huge bonus. And then we're gonna see about grabbing. I hope his CMD bonuses are correct. He does not grab, so she's gonna follow up with the two of claw attacks. One claw hits, and she'll damage it. Amara is heal bodying. Because it's easy. That was a good heal as well for cure lights. Uh, Nizza. Um can't actually get a flank with anybody quite yet, it looks like. You're Unless... invisible, so you can scoot your own back, right? Yeah, I can get to behind it. I just won't actually get the flank, because you're not uh, threatening him right now. Right. Um, move over here, and then I'd be able to get a flank with Diana next turn, potentially. I mean, maybe. That's assuming. Yeah, it probably would actually work against the Cloud Giant or the Warden of Wind at least. I think it's a Cloud Giant. Uh, I'll move over here and do a, an attack against Warden of Wind here. So make sure I use the right button. With no bane. Okay, here we go. <laughs> well then. Alright, I miss, I guess. You get some more attacks. Oh, you. No, I had to move. I mean, if I um, didn't move, the other attacks would have been worthless anyway, basically. You're invisible, be... though, right? It already has the plus For that two. one attack, it was. Oh, I hit yeah, the button. Yeah, flat -footed, yeah, I hit right. the flat footed button as well, and it didn't. It still missed. I guess yeah, they're it's... giants, they're all. Yeah, it's flat footed armor. ACs. Definitely. Yeah. Like, okay, really well, I mean, <laughs> I'm no longer invisible, so. Mm -hmm. But I do still have images up. And that guy, if Warden, the rune guy tries to attack me, I have 35 AC versus him instead of 33, so. Get that going for me. Um, yeah. I'm going to check a rock at Abysm. I'll miss. Henry?
I'm going to throw some more magic missiles at it. Okay. Pew, pew, pew. And that's better. Warden number 10. Ooh, frustrated by this Nizzo, but the cat. We gotta stay on the cat. Four rounds, all misses. Might want to reconsider. Abysm. Okay. Five foot step up there. <laughs> Cast shield. Juice up my sword. Oh, yeah, well, I'll remember this next time. I totally have another feat that comes into play here, but I'll worry about it later. Ah. Oh. Do not confirm your crit, so attack number three hits. Oh, that was on your okay. low iterative, though, so I suppose that's fair. <laughs> okay. Does Roll20 like you better than Fantasy Grounds? Maybe. Yes. I don't remember <laughs> rolling this bad in Roll20. Mm. This badly, this consistently. Yeah, it's very consistent. Like, it's almost like you're just, you're like the short straw, you know, you lucked out. Yeah. <laughs> There's something in my version's code. Uh, let's see. This guy... I don't like that, so I'm gonna back up over here and full round abysm. Okay, one moment. Because I have this feat that I have been neglecting for ages and ages. Oh, okay. It's called Just Out of Reach. If an enemy isn't adjacent to me, I get some bonus armor class. Okay. Oh, that's really good. You basically just get your mobility bonus. That's right. Oh, that's pretty good. Alright, he misses. I, I've, I don't even remember when I took it last. Like, I've had it for quite a long time. <laughs> it makes sense to take it because you have the mobility of tree, and it's like, oh, wow, yes. and more chances to use that, use that, to get mileage out of that. That's really good. And it, it stacks with mobility. It, it's custom designed to allow you to get into reach of things that have reach. Yeah, that makes sense. But it also works against guys that like five foot stepping away from you all the time. I didn't even think about that, but yeah, you could use it mobility, like, you know, within his 10 foot reach, but, or if it, he's got like a 20 foot reach on this guy, but yeah, you could do it in there and get plus eight bonus. Because dodge bonuses stack. Uh, no. uh, all right, well, this time I'm gonna get a flank bonus with Diana. Go, go, flank. And 
hope that that goes a little bit better. I guess I have to roll these separately though, because if I do hit, I want to apply the uh, the debuff as well, make my other attacks more likely to hit. So, and there's like some weird shit in here that it added automatically when I grabbed items earlier. <laughs> it's annoying. All right, um, first attack. No. Okay. Well, it's not going to bode well then because I kind of need to get that penalty to even hit his AC, I think. So I think these other tags are just probably going to miss. But we're going to fish for 20s. No, and uh, last one. No. Well, that's, that's my turn. Okay. Um, if we gain another level... Do you want it to take out flank? Oh, I just remembered. I have a thing that I can use also to get a free attack if, if Diana hits. I need to remember to use that. I have Opportunist, so I need to remember mm -hmm. that. Isn't that when she crits? Nope, she just needs to hit something, and if I can oh, use okay. an attack opportunity once around. That sounds nice. Yeah, it's an advanced That's rope talent. Advanced rope, got it. Uh, she's going to five foot step in as she pulls out her morning star to powerfully attack Bism with a little bit of a partial cover from the big guy. Uh, she misses. Henry? I'm going to shoot some more magic missiles. <laughs> My most reliable damage. That's my turn. Alright. Um, number 10. Okay. I said I was going to change my game plan, so I'm going to... Nizza, it's... It turns around to full round you instead. Okay. So let's see. I get... I'm going to try to do this sense motive thing. Also, I remembered I also got a plus four bonus to AC versus giants uh -huh. from racial. So let me just Being throw that old. into. Yeah, I should just throw that in there for now. So let me do the. Go ahead and do it, I guess. I'll roll my sense motive here. Okay. Uh, versus the highest attack, or the first attack. First attack. So it's below 40, I'll get an additional plus two insight bonus. So, yeah, I also have a plus two insight bonus versus it, so my AC is actually 39 versus it. Okay. All right, it misses. Okay. Abysm? I think it takes out one image, though. The 36, I'm pretty sure it takes out one image. So I'm down to a D2 on images. Right, row. Right. A single image. My, I don't even have my image, mirror image wand anymore. It's like over, like near Henrik, I think. I do have the innervate wand still, though. I can start using that again. <laughs> Good. Plenty of choice. Okay. The problem is it provokes. It provokes using it, I think. But using wands? No. Almost well, the ranged so... attack is the part that provokes not using the wand. Well, if you're in melee, a... yeah. If I have a step back, yeah, which these guys have like a twenty foot, have like a forty foot reach, so like I'm always in melee with them. <laughs> but this okay, one I pretty far. I'm casting a shocking grasp. Okay. Wait, electricity doesn't work on them. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. You actually, you know that too. Yeah. You already did it. This <laughs> combat. <laughs> I'm just like, okay. <laughs> Dang it, guys. <laughs> Maybe a frigid would work. Or yeah, chill. But I'm casting a chill touch just so I can get the free attack. Be cheesy. Because that's what Meguses are.
Well, I mean, chill touch isn't bad. It gives you uh, multiple charges of it, too, so. Oh, I missed. Oh, the tragedy. Yeah, he still does a d6 damage, right? And they have to make a fort save? Well, I'll leave you hit. In theory. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Theoretically, you could rack up a bunch of strength damage on this guy. Oh, okay, that's me flailing around a bit. <laughs> what? I have many, many, many charges of chill touch on the sword still. Yay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, your next... I mean, if you cast another spell, the charge goes away is the only thing that sucks, that's right. but... But you can always change the order in your spell combat. You can do the first, you can do your attacks first and then also cast spells afterward to take advantage of those charges. Or just full attack. Yeah, just full attack and I'll get plus d6. Again, assuming I hit. And possibly strength damage, although. It, these things have high force saves, actually. Okay. So, probably hey, fish won't. For, fish for ones. So, you have no <laughs> reach right now to this guy, right? The warden of Rune, who, he, he stepped back, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, that's right, he's no longer adjacent to me. Okay, because he casts a spell I don't have reach concentrating. on him. Yep. Yep. Alright. Legit. The spell, it's being casted. No spellcrafting? Ah. <laughs> Okay, you're pretty confident it's casting Dominate Person. Ooh. Onabism. Uh oh. Go ahead and roll, we'll save. Uh, do we have that super spell deflection thing up? Uh, not at the moment. Hmm, okay. Will's your one of your decent saves, I think, though. Oh, well, that's not a bad roll. All right, you negate. I'm pretty sure, good like job. everyone in this party, except for me, has a pretty good will save, and even my will save's not that bad. It's still a plus twelve. All right, Diana, you can do it. Come on, Diana. I guess my will save is actually yes. the same as Abysm's. Like normally. We just both have penalties to it right oh, now. There's that 20. Yeah, I got I don't know. This guy's a hard to hit. Well, we don't have any full base attack bonus classes, uh, armor. so... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I mean, that's the thing, too. Also, if I hit with if I hit with my first attack, then it makes it... Like, if I don't hit with my first attack, my second attack's probably not gonna hit. Because I need to apply that minus six uh, AC debuff to him. Amar is gonna move in and <laughs> attack with a single attack. This is Um, do you have the flanking bonus for Diana when she attacked earlier, at least? She wouldn't have hit even with it on. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna try to do stuff too, I guess. Um, do the same crap I was doing before and actually hope it works this time. That'll probably do it. Double 20s, alright. 
Uh, so the crit isn't really going to matter very much because it's precision damage. But... Yeah. Uh, I'm going to also apply the uh, rogue stuff, like debilitating strike to it. So it's going to have, versus me specifically, it's going to have minus 6 to its AC and minus 6 to its attack because I have double debilitate. Uh, and minus 2 to AC and minus 2 to attack for everybody else. Um, so I don't know if you want to work the, if you want to throw a minus 6 on the AC, or if I should just give myself a plus 6 to my just attack. Just give yourself a plus 6. Okay, I'll do that. Plus 8 total, counting the flank then. Okay, that one will hit 2. There you go, see there comes the damage. And then my last one as well. So that's now two rounds of that. So I'll have it. I'll have that for next round too, which is okay. pretty huge. And uh, last attack for this round is also a hit. All right. Yay. Maybe I don't have to worry about next round. Nice. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Finally. That's <laughs> And I'll fi I'll five foot step after that. Towards, he brutally uh, this other stabs one. it in its heel. Not three and it's times. Achilles heel. It's a cool <laughs> arteries just gushing blood out all over. Uh, you moved. Damn it. Yeah, if I had stepped afterwards as well. Not you. <laughs> Dear abysm. Um. She's going to move past her ally and take a single attack on you again. Okay, wait, wait. She did something unexpected. Okay. Uh, looks like I hit. Mirror images, though. Mm hmm. Uh, take out an image. Henry. I'm sending some magic missile. <laughs> you can't get enough of these magic missiles. All right, put him into critical. Some critical magic missile. That's my turn. Uh, I'm bad rolls. And abysm. Yeah, so I'm still not adding up properly on my armor class, but <clears throat> I'll worry about that in a bit. Okay. Oh, I miss this. 37 and a 36 missed. On number Out. Or okay. number two? Yeah? Um, okay. It's very high AC. Yes. He's also very uh, I guess I'm done. He's wearing a lot of armor, you you will notice. We gotta hit those with Tud. <laughs> um let's see, has power attack been working for me? I need to teach a bism force punch. I don't even uh, think I can hit this thing with my attacks. I probably should Go back to uh, innervating the stupid thing. That'd probably be pretty effective. It's at very low health rate. Yeah. Hmm. Either that or I just go work on the other 
the other giant. A five foot step back and full round of ism again. Alright, he gets that bonus. Okay, one sec. I'll put the. We'll just manually add the numbers. It's really time consuming turning things on and off, no offense, but it kind of becomes. Um, so. It's just a four difference. This must be yeah. this. I auto hit, but I don't confirm. Right, I auto Still hit images, with a 20. Though. Yeah. We're down to six now. And I take out an image. Is... So I don't know why, but the program is not taking my dexterity into account with my armor class. Um, are Weird. you encumbered according to it? Mm, I don't like, know. let me check. Okay. I shouldn't be encumbered. Nope. Armor max stats zero, skill check zero. Max stat zero is so probably what's doing it. Shouldn't that be properly a different number? Oh, did so did something get changed on my? Okay, I will. I'll work on that then. Okay. Yeah, that little check mark box. When you have that check mark, those numbers play come into effect. So you can just uncheck it and manually do it, or check mark it and let the encumbrance play into effect in the armor thing and all that stuff. Uh, so did uh was a th you have a yeah twenty eight wasn't anywhere close to your. 28 shouldn't hit, no. Right, but mirror images. Did I take out a mirror image with a 20? Oh, oh, uh, uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Alright, you're down to five. Round seven. Big kitty. That thing's down. She's going to have Diana move over to the other one. It's going to take an attack, attack on her. She has the Morning Star out. Oof. Well, she ought to hit. Okay. Diana got to move more than 10 feet, so she's going to pounce. With powerful attacks, why not? Okay, the bite hit. It's, wait, I'm not targeting the right one. With the bite hit of 36. Yes. Oh. Put that damage on the correct one. Okay, Diana's going to try to grapple with her mouth. She misses, so she's gonna follow up with her two, her rake, basically, because she's pouncing. And one of the claws hits, and damage. 
Amara is really limited with things we can do here. Um, I mean, she could just hang back, back or heal the cat. She doesn't have. She's not a heal bot. She doesn't have that many heals. She's actually out, sort of. Other than your, the big guns that you guys may or may not want. So, yeah, you guys aren't exactly uh, equipped for mass healing, except for a single heal skill that she she preps. She only preps one heal. So I don't really know. I think you guys have to rely on that bond that somebody else has. So I'm gonna okay. take a single attack on this giant. I'm not I had missed because I targeted the wrong one. And so that's her turn. Nizza? Uh, I guess I'll use Vanish again and try to get into position to be able to do some flanks soon. And that'll be it for me. So do you have to concentrate for that? Yeah, but I succeed on one. Oh, okay. It's a level one spell, so... Alright, is that your turn then? Yeah. Let's see, number five. Getting surrounded. We're gonna pull around Diana some more. I do hit once. Yitch. Okay. Now she has no choice. Henry? Alright. I'm gonna throw some more magic missiles. And that's my turn. Alright, Abyssin. Okay. <clears throat> Scooch up there. Spend a point. And we'll try this again. And uh -huh. don't roll above a 10. I think whatever character I'm building for the next campaign is not going to rely on to hit rolls in any way. <laughs> be a caster like the rest of us. <laughs> I'm going to be a magic missile caster. Yay! I'm going to take meta magic feats I only and just fill every single slot I have. System. Preferred spell, meta magic, or um, magic yeah. missile and shit like that. Yeah. It's my only. If we run into something with shield, Magical I'll just lineage. shrug my shoulders and say, you guys take care of it. <laughs> it could be a fun character, right? Maybe. I don't know. On the other hand, it might get boring just doing the magic missile all the time. It might but... get boring just 48 or right, 5 yeah. Just rolling 5 a bunch of D4s. 4. Yeah. If I step back and I think you get intensified, you'd be able to roll more than that. Hiya! Okay. I didn't confirm it. Well, it does have images. But I do hit, and we're at a 5 now? Alright. Well, 
Oh, there goes an image. And wait, what attack was that? Um, so 25 is not close to your AC, is it? No, my AC is third. Uh, is he adjacent? No, he stepped away. So my AC against him is 36. Okay. All right. There are now four abysms. Round eight. Diana. Diana, 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 Diana. What's the health looking like? Amara's. Mars gonna heal Diana before Diana takes her action. She go on five foot step and she's gonna use her shit. I have to switch this to combat mode. Oh, she has two heals prepared, but I don't want to use them. Uh, she has a cure serious wounds. I mean, Diana's got like 20 health. <laughs> I know. But you guys have some shit you're gonna get into, and I don't want Mantis to lecture me about how I use spells, and he doesn't have anything prepared. Bra 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 bra. Just have him go Nova in this fight, and then he doesn't have to worry about spells for the next uh, adventure. <laughs> oh, you were gone. I used all your spells. Welcome back. All of them. Yeah. All of them. All right, Get creative I'll with the cantrips. Diana. I'll use it. But you guys only have one left now. And he all he has is one heal, one cure serious wounds, one cure. They got blessing of salamanders. Yeah. And those are heals as well. Yeah, but they're they're not that big of a heal, are they? They're pretty they're big, but they're dog. They're heels over time. Rounds, five, seventeen. Rounds. Yeah. That's a number. That's a good number. Given the time, that's big. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. I'm just. I'm. I'm slightly worried for you guys in the fact that you don't have the most healing in the world. But you know. Yeah. We never did, though. Nothing's I changed. know. Well, things have changed. You're at the boss guy. Well, you're gonna be. <laughs> I can be worried about you. Uh, Diana's gonna full round now that she's feeling all perky again. So we get the hit. We do some damage. We try to grab. We miss. We claw claw. Both hits. Oh, nice. And Damara did her turn. Nizzo? Um, I guess I could flank with Diana by going this diagonal. <laughs> so I suppose I'll do that. Um, it's like a single attack against this guy. And let's put that stuff all in, and let's try it. All right. And we're going to do a lot of damage to it. Bam. I'm going to, um, yeah, I rolled really high on those, on those sneak attack dice. I'm going to lower its AC by two and also hamper its movement so it can't uh, five foot step and it can't uh, it only can move at half speed. Minus two AC and it also would get minus six versus me but I'm not gonna well actually shit I keep forgetting about well I wouldn't have wanted to use it anyway I guess. Anyway yeah I keep forgetting to use opportunist <laughs> again. I could have done it earlier when Diana hit. Although it would have broke my invisibility earlier, so I don't know. Then I wouldn't have been able to get into a flank. So no, I wouldn't have done it anyway. It's fine. Uh, okay, uh, so that's it for my turn. Gonna full round Diana. 
Uh, all misses. Henry? I'm gonna shoot measurement. Hoping that it takes this thing down. It must get in close. That was a good, those are some good rolls. Okie dokie. Unconscious, but not stable. Abysmal. Okay. Um. Hmm. Oh, uh, okay, just a sec. Just had a thought here. Okay, I will spend another point for my pool. To add Giant Bane to my weapon. That gives you an extra plus two to hit. Yes, that's the whole point. It's just trying to get <laughs> Bonuses to hit. Or just use your touch skills with touch instead of through your weapon. But then, but then I wouldn't be any better than a common mage. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> That's what level one magus is. If, uh, if you're looking at like level one maguses, they're just, they're just wizards with martial weapon proficiency, basically, and slightly less spells. The better rolls, at least. You always little roll on your last iterative, though. It's like the only time you're allowed to roll high, apparently. Okay, well... <laughs> that's... that's that. I think you need to I'll use the wand of true strike. <laughs> I'm pretty much about to just do that. <laughs> and then I'll just roll three natural ones and be like, eh, okay. <laughs> uh, He's going to five foot step back and... Uh, defensively cast a spell. Uh, let's see, 15 plus double spell level. Okay, he succeeds at casting. And I'll need Wit Nizzo to roll me a will save. 
Um, okay. Don't tell me the results right away because I haven't proved Iron Will, so. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm going to re-roll that. That's better. Okay. You shake off the effects, and you're okay. Uh, let's see, Diana, is this guy still up technically? I mean, I did also have Slippery Mind, but not worth... It's better to avoid the effect in the first place. We said it was, somebody said it was Dominate Person again or something, or did we not even roll this time? I don't know. It was <laughs> last time checked. at least. Oh. oh. I don't have to use the opportunist attack on it, I guess. <laughs> it's gonna actually remember this time. I was like, I was gonna, I want to attack it. Oh, it's dead. <laughs> uh, let's see. This sec has improved Iron Wheels a one a day thing, so it's like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna have it probably for like the big fight. <laughs> but oh well. I gotta go pretty soon, so this is probably the last fight for this session, right? Yeah. Maybe. At least for me it is. Mars flying, she's going to fly over the spot to right here. And take a def total defensive stance, because I don't really know what I can do with her at this moment. And Diana already did her thing, so... Nizza. Um, all right, let me untarget this thing here. I can try to get a flank here with acrobatics, I suppose. It's probably not going to work, and he's probably going to attack opportunity against me, but if he does, I do still have, I mean, it's, what round is it, nine? I still have, like, 30 set, 39 AC versus guy or something ridiculous, so, and I have a mirror image, so I'm going to make this gamble. So here's my acrobatics roll. It's lower than his CMD, He'll probably, he, which it probably is. He gets a free attack against me. Let me bump my AC up properly here. Um, so it'll be five and then two minutes. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Phoenix gets an attack. Uh, you fail. Yeah, he gets an attack then. Miss. Okay. Doesn't even break doesn't even break my image. Um and then I'm going to do a single attack with a flanking bonus and hope for the best. It's probably not it's probably not gonna work because his AC is really high, but um So let's try Nope. Damn. That's my turn. <laughs> Too much AC. Too much. Alright, Henry. Alright. Go, go, magic missiles. Take them down. I think I've done, like, almost all the damage on this guy. Yeah, I did the negative levels on him, and that was pretty much it. Other than that, it was all you. Oh! All we have to do is, like, poke him. Still standing. We got those one. All right, Abism, All right, Abism just like touch him. him. 
touch him with something. You could acid splash him or something. I just barely hit him once. Yay! Awesome. <laughs> With all those bonuses that I've managed to stack up. Of course, now I had a hard time breaking, what, three? Yeah, they're, it, it was trying to keep you down. Oh, he's dead. Oh, and then he bled out. We did it. We're back into like the beginning of the town. <laughs> yeah, but we have all of our spells this time for the most part. Yeah. Alright, let's go find that aim. Alright, that's oh. where we'll conclude. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Cliffhanger. <laughs> I wanted to get back to that angel. Yeah, of course you do. But I wanted Mantis to be here for the angel because he likes things like that. I figured that's what you were talking about when we ran into it as well. I was like, oh, something that's going to attack you but not attack you? How can you handle this? Hopefully okay. we're able to, like, complete this small puzzle with the, with the angel and get, like, a nice reward. But yeah, um, that was. Mm -hmm. Progress. Hopefully, we get closer to finishing next week. Uh... We'll be done next week. Oh, no. uh, yeah, I'm actually not going to be around next week. Carsog's yeah. fight is going to be like a whole entire session. And depending oh, yeah. on whether or not you guys decide to try to deal with the link device or not is kind of contingent on how long the game is going to continue. Because if you guys go deal with that, it's going to it's gonna take time. And so we wouldn't be able to do that and the Karzog fight in the same session. So I, yeah, I think we have two. at least two more sessions. Yeah. Maybe three, though, if you're completionists. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, yeah. We'll we'll intervene next week. Um, Abysm, you said you're not going to be here. I'm not going to be here next week, but feel free to just uh, NPC my character. Ugh. Thanks. Uh, it's you not that hard. You just roll a d20 and miss. Yes. <laughs> you know, because you're going to be gone, I'm going to, like, land all your hits, right? That's fine. They'll be able to see me, <laughs> like, for some weird reason, I got competent all of a sudden. I <laughs> wonder why. My game's <laughs> not rigged for myself. <laughs> I wonder how the R, like how the RNG program works on Fantasy Grounds exactly. Like, does it draw from your own system, hmm? or does it draw from like a, a server? I've, I've got no idea. I mean, I it goes. Know. I think it's P. Yeah. No, it doesn't even go through a server. Well, I mean, it's usually they have to draw something. Yeah, but usually it draws from something, even if it's like like the time, the system time, or something like that, or like the. Um... It's usually system time that they run off of. Sometimes they do it off of like background, like, you know, like some sort of background process or something like that, but I don't know. Roll 20 is actually using some sort of fancy shining a laser into the atmosphere and recording the. <laughs> yeah, both yeah, they're very C++ proud of their Plus system. And Lua RNG are using the built in library seated. 
by time in milliseconds. The 3D dice are actually a physics simulation based on user's input. Hmm. So if it's from the library, then it's from my library. Because I'm the hoster. Yeah. It's not like there's something special about my time compared to everybody else's time. <laughs> well, maybe there was. I don't know. Uh, okay. Well, you know, you know, that's true. Evidence. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'll uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. Yep. Yep. See you later. See you. Have a good weekend.